Manga has proven time and time again to place us into another realm. A single piece of drawing expresses and brings out many emotions a lot of us wouldn't even know we had. The unsettling feeling, character progression, well drawn out panels is what separates manga from any other sort of media. A lot of us, and by a lot, I mean all of us are illiterate. Let's just keep it above 50. We don't want to stare at a bunch of words all day. We want to see limbs cut off, people getting punched, guns, violence. And manga is one way to show us these things we're looking for. I have read a lot of mangas over the years, ranging from romance to actions, works that makes us question our world and existence. And manga, in a lot of ways, lets us see how a person views the world. Each drawing and story is different. Sure, not every piece is going to be a masterpiece, and when you've seen and read most of the praise series, you're left with emptiness and extreme thirst for something else. And for me, a manga that really filled my cravings and checked out all of the things I was looking for was Sakamoto Days. There's panels that'll leave you staring at it for ages, fights that makes you feel the impact of each blow, awesome character interactions, and... Oh. Oh, oh my. She can do whatever she wants to me. On November 21st, 2021, this manga was created. Sakamoto Days is a manga that is currently running under Shonen Jump, the same people who kicked Hunter Hunter out. This is a manga a lot of you are probably familiar with. A lot of your favorite YouTubers most likely made a video on it. But what exactly makes it so special? Sakamoto Days is mainly about a retired assassin who left the world of killing for the sake of love and now spends the rest of his time with his family whilst running a shop. The first few chapters, the manga follows a more comedic and light approach, but as the story progresses, longer arcs are introduced and many, many characters are shown. There's this one organization called the Order that the is a special is force within the Japanese association comprised of the Order. Pause. We're not ready for this yet. Shin is a hitman who also has the ability to read people's mind. At the start of the story, he was tasked by an organization to take out Sakamoto. But after seeing and spending some time with Sakamoto and his family, he concludes that he's of no threat and loses interest on the idea of killing him. He heads back and tries to convince his organization to let him go, but the boss is like, How disgraceful. So you failed to kill Sakamoto. F f fine. Kill yourself and I'll spare Sakamoto. Yeah, right. Go on and die, you fool, if you believe that. The boss forgets that he could read people's mind and he attempts to kill him, but feels ultimately when Sakamoto. Sakamoto ultimately saves him. After this event, Sakamoto hires him to work for his shop and considers him a part of his family. And in some ways, he's like a sidekick to Sakamoto. Later on within the story, another member is joined within their group named Lu, who's part of a well-known Chinese family. And together, the three of them and his family run the shop and try to live a normal life. This all comes crashing down when it's announced that Sakamoto has a bounty up to 1 billion yen to his name, making constant enemies and people from his past coming to take and interrupt his current life. It's around this time when we're introduced that within the Sakamoto household, there are strict rules to be followed. Simple rules such as no secrets, no lying, and also a no kill policy. The first few chapters follows an episodic approach where every few chapters a new villain appears and challenges Sakamoto and the others. They fight them off without killing any of them whilst figuring out a way to lift his bounty. The plot is simply enough. Sakamoto and the three other characters try to live a normal life and from time to time fight some bad guys who appear to try and take the bounty from him. This manga is basically if John Wick owned the store. Hello there. An ex-retired hitman trying to live a normal life but his past catches up to him forcing him to get back into fighting. We've all more or less seen or read something close to this before. What makes this manga so great is its fight sequences. Every fight there's something at stake and the thrill of that carries on throughout the entirety of the story. When it comes to an anime or a manga that primarily focuses on action, the way fight are choreographed determines if a series is going to be good. If a series replaces its blood for jizz, we all know the rest of the series is going to be bad. What the fuck? No! 
The way a studio incorporates sound effects, music, impact frames, all of these elements to form an art is the reason that keeps us, the viewers, engaged. Mangas, on the other hand, doesn't have any of that. It's just drawn out panels. There isn't any extra source helping you be immersed with what you're reading. Everything has to be imagined in your head. But when it comes to Sakamoto days, let me tell you, you can feel the impact. Characters getting punched, slammed. There's passion and so much creativity in each fight. You're never gonna know what tools or weapons is gonna be used in a given day. I've seen bullets being thrown the speed of light, segways used as weapons, vacuums, pens, a passport, I can go on and on. There's this fight sequence where Sakamoto was fighting some guy with swords and knives as hands. Kinda like he had Kimaru. The fight was going as you'd expect it, Sakamoto beating the living hell out of him. They're fighting under the subway and throughout the fight, many random things happen. And on one occasion, he uses one of the rails as sort of a surfboard. He whips out a piece of paper. You know what he does with this paper? He sends him- <clears throat> The doors will open to the right side. Next stop is Okutabi. Every day is the same boring routine. I wish something interesting would happen. Wait, well, what is that? Did I forget to mention this is only a speck of the fight scenes within this manga? In the midst of them fighting, an old lady enters the subway, and Sakamoto is like, this seat is meant for priority seating, and ragdolls him into a one by one room. You see the look of this face? That's the face of somebody who knows what's about to happen. Sakamoto Days is a manga that is best known for its eye-catching and precise fight sequences, but the story also has layers and layers put onto it. Yuto Suzuki, the mangeka, made sure not to leave any details when making the story. Chunk of woods is scattered across every destroyed wall. Every villain has a unique aura and are designed in a way that fits their characters. I think one of the best things about this manga is how there isn't any powers involved. It's just straight hands and guns. The story starts out simple, but behind this unpredictable fight scenes and abnormal plot, you're left with characters with genuine connections. Shin from an early age, and even now, looks up to Sakamoto, and went as far as to risk his own life in order to make sure he can continue his. Lu's family got massacred. Lost and confused on where to go or what to do next, Sakamoto opened and welcomed her with open arms. The time he spends with his wife, kid, and the people he considers family is something Sakamoto treasures. When you read this manga, you see why Sakamoto is fighting so hard to protect. At some point in the story, late at night, after spending some time with all the people that's close to him, Sakamoto waited till everyone is asleep and decided it would be best to continue his journey alone. You're leaving us behind? So you figured it out. I sensed there was something up. Why are you doing this? Because I, I don't know the reason. Is that also why you don't talk to us about your past, with slur, because you don't trust me? I'm prepared to deal with that. You're the one who isn't facing reality. What did you say? I'm saying, don't underestimate me. Hey now, what are the two of you doing? This is no time to be fighting. Unaware of it yet, the reason for all of this is Sakamoto not knowing his own feelings. He's terrified of losing the ones he cares about, and desperately tries to separate them from the dark and gruesome world that was once his past. Despite all the heavy actions and fighting, Sakamoto Days is more than just action. We see moments of them hanging out in amusement parks, celebrating anniversaries, eating at a dinner table with loved ones. All of these aspects together makes up this manga and is the reason I find myself resonating a lot with it. There's still many questions and mysteries unanswered. Who set the bounty on Sakamoto in the first place? Who is the order? Why is this old man so strong? I don't know. But what I do know is, this manga is great and you should give it a shot. I'm almost certain you'll like it. <laughs>